One of my colleagues in the field coined the, the saying, live like you love the ocean. Because I think if we were all living like we love the ocean, we would, we would do things differently in our daily lives. My story is so much different. I, I, was, I had gotten my dream job working in the aquarium, working with marine fishes, and, um, and we brought in the sick Ninja Turtle, the very first one, and I was just amazed at how sick this animal was, and I was so happy to be even just a small part of that rehabilitation. But it wasn't until um, 2002 when we brought in big mama Edisto, she was gigantic and, and I've treated so much larger turtles since her but she was really a turning point in my career. She uh, was just the, the, the most amazing thing I'd ever seen and helped with and I knew at that point that I would be working with turtles for the long haul. The Sea Turtle Hospital had very humble beginnings. It wasn't until after the aquarium opened that we learned there was a need for sea turtle rehabilitation in the state of South Carolina. So we took on the role of sea turtle rescue, um, but really didn't have a, um, a concentrated area in which to perform these, uh, these rescues. So it was sort of spread out all over the building. It wasn't until five years after the first turtle was admitted that we were able to get a grant to build the Sea Turtle Hospital that we know now. And we've continued to grow that program um, with the help of our community and certainly with uh, the help of volunteers and so many um, people that, that support us financially. It's, uh, it's amazing how much support we've gotten over the years. So if you were to visit the Sea Turtle Hospital, um, there are 13 filtered tanks uh, where the turtles are rehabilitating, they come up and breathe right in front of you, they're open top tanks, really, really cool. Um, we do allow tours in the Sea Turtle Hospital, so that's a really rare opportunity to come face to face and really see firsthand the treatment that we're providing to these animals. Our job is to rehabilitate these animals and release them back into the wild, and so we want nothing more than, than to get them back out into the ocean. Um, the, what makes this program work really is that sea turtles don't form connections with us and uh, they, they don't become really imprinted or, or conditioned um, on us caring for them or feeding them. And so they can stay, stay nine months in our care, which is the average length of stay here, and be released back into the ocean and still do just fine. Although sea turtles are incredibly instinctive and aren't very social creatures, uh, nor do they connect with us, at the same time, they do have personalities, and I could probably name right now, you know, 90 of the, the sea turtles that we have treated in the past because of those personalities. A large percentage of the sea turtles that we treat in the Sea Turtle Hospital have been impacted by humans. Um, things like plastics being found in their intestinal tracts and really causing them to become ill, or boat strikes, uh, being entangled in fishing gear and fishing line. and we all need to be conscious of the impact that we're having on our oceans and marine life, uh, even if we don't live right here on the coast. There are a lot of things people can do to help sea turtles. Uh, one is just be mindful of them in our waters and nesting on our beaches. It's so important to lessen our footprint in their ecological niche, really, the ocean and beaches. When people visit the aquarium or, or attend one of our sea turtle releases, really what we're hoping for is that they leave um, just impacted by what's happening with these sea turtles in the ocean. Um, you know, if we can all get a better handle on the plight of sea turtles, I think we will all know a little better how to help them. I am so fortunate to be part of such an amazing team here at the aquarium and certainly in the Sea Turtle Hospital. We have a couple of amazing uh, staff and, and lots of just steadfast and dedicated volunteers that help us. Without their help, we could not do what we do in the Sea Turtle Hospital. 
Releasing sea turtles is, you know, one of the greatest things about this job. These animals we've helped recover from near death often, and um, and and watching them return to the ocean is a is a big deal. I think the other part that makes it so wonderful is that, um, you know, we're doing it not only to save sea turtles but save all of the marine environment. And I'm just really hoping to be part of a culture change um, in protecting not only the ocean but but all of nature.